Okay, today I'm going to use the Merbius inversion formula. Merbius inversion formula. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this to understand understand tor of n and if I've got time sigma of n. That equals the number of divisors function. And this equals the sum of divisors. So let's just remind ourselves what that is. Tor of 12. Uh, okay, well, what are the divisors? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 isn't 6. Oops, 5 isn't 6 and 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals 6. And sigma of 12 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is 10 plus 6 is 16, plus 12 equals 28. So there's our tor and sigma functions. And I'm going to rewrite them in such a way that I can use the um, Mervius inversion formula. I'm going to I'm going to remind you. Or I'm going to point out because this is well, it's obvious, but you need somebody to show you. Equals sigma over d divides n of one because we're just counting these guys here. When we evaluate the the tor function. When we evaluate the tor function, we're just counting the divisors, so it's that. So that tells me that I can invert that formula. Well, it's kind of, let me write it, it it's kind of so obvious, it's, it's difficult to see. Sigma over d divides n of, let's say, function g of d, where g of d equals 1 for, for, for all d. And it's kind of a stupid function. So there's, there's tor. So let me, oh dear, I don't know why that... I don't know why that happens. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. A little, a little glitch. Where was I? Um, tor of n equals sum over d divides n of g of d, where g of d equals 1 for any, any integer. Okay, so what happens when we apply the Mobius inversion formula to this? Well, that basically says that 1, which is the function that we started, well, let's write it out, g of d, which equals 1, equals sigma over d divides n of mu of uh, n over d times tor of d. Um, there you go. That's quite nice, isn't it? Let's have an example of that. Let's try an example of that. Let's try n equals 12 and see what happens. So I'm asserting that sigma over d divides 12. This is an example. Sigma over d divided 12 of mu of n over d times tor of d equals 1. That's what I assert this. Or well, that's what the Mobius formula implies, so it better be right. Well, let's try it. What d has got to equal 1, 2, 3, uh, sorry, 4, 6, and 12. Tor of 1 equals, uh, tor is the number of divisors function. Tor of 2 equals 2. Tor of 3 equals uh, 2 again. Tor of 4 equals 3. Tor of 6. What numbers divide by 6? 1, 2, 3, and 6. That's 4. Tor of 12. What numbers divide 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 12. 1, 2, 3. Six. Okay, so we've got these uh, tors here. Let's just run through the formula. Let's run through the formula. So we need um, this formula here: sigma d divides twelve of mu of n over d tor of d. And we've got all our tors here. Maybe we should have the Mobius function of losing the uh, thing. Let's try the Merbius function of 1 equals 1, mu of 2 equals uh, minus 1, mu of 3 equals minus 1, mu of 4 equals 0 because it's got a square in it, mu of 6 equals 2 threes, 2 times 3, so it's minus 1 squared, which is plus 1, mu of 12, that's got a 4 in it, so that's going to be 0. Actually, I should have done this first, and then I could have, avo ah, could have avoided all this lot. Could have avoided this lot, couldn't I? Well, let's, let's write it out and see what happens. Let's just write it out anyway. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know why, I don't know why my keyboard does that. Just 
jumps about and I don't know. Let me, because I've got this, why don't I write this out in a slightly different way? Mu d divides 12 of mu of d tor of n over d. And that way I can just concentrate, um, I can concentrate on the non-zero ones. Okay, so I'm going to have d equals 1, 2, 3, 4 has disappeared, 6, and 12 has gone. Yeah, because if I were to put d equals 12 in this formula, mu of 12 is equal to 0, so I'll just forget that term. So what I've got is I've got mu of 1, tor of 12 over 1, plus mu of doo -doo 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 -doo, 2, tor of 12 over 2, plus mu of 3, tor of uh, 12 over 3, plus mu of 6, tor of 12 over 6. Just write that out there. I've got this here. Equals mu of 1, tor of 12, plus mu of 2, tor of 6, plus mu of 3, tor of 4, plus mu of 6, tor of 2. And I've got everything written down somewhere. Oh, it's a beer rub. Okay, so that equals mu of 1 equals 1, tor of 12 is 6, plus mu of 2, which is minus 1, times tor of 6, which is 4, plus mu of 3, which is also minus 1, times tor of 4, which equals 3, plus mu of 6, which is this one, times tor of 2, uh, which is 2. So it's 6 minus 4 minus 3 plus 2 equals 2 minus 3. Hmm, made a mistake. What have I, oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't, because it's uh, 4 minus 3 equals 1. Ha! There you go. Job done. Let's go through that process again. Let's just revise that again before we, w before we drop this. I'm using the Mobius function, the Mobius inversion function, f of n multiplicative, f of n, capital F of n, equals sigma d divides n f of d, and f of n equals sigma over d divides n mu of d, uh, capital F of n over d. And I'm applying that to the case where, what am I applying it to? I'm applying it to the case, I'm observing that tor of n equals sigma over d divides n of g of d, where g of d equals 1. So it's a constant. So this thing here is a constant, which is quite nice. And I'm going to stop there.